Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Thank you so much for your patience. I know I haven't put out a review in quite a while, uh, but I've put some out some other material that I hope you've enjoyed on Special Mark Productions. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more independent films this year on The Final Cut. I hope you don't mind. And the first one that I want to bring to you today is a short film. Uh, Zuma Jr. is at it again, this time with a film called The Wish. Now, if you're not familiar with Zuma Jr., we've reviewed a couple of his other films. This is a very young kid making horror films and doing it very well well for the, especially the budget he's on. Here in The Wish he uh, faces the subject of child abuse and we get the story of a brother and sister who are in a house where their father abuses them repeatedly but things take, start to take a supernatural turn and the tables start to get turned on this family and we see how that affects them. Ah what got me about the wish was once the subject matter. Here we have a very young uh, filmmaker who's covering a very dark subject. Let's face it, child abuse is not a comfortable subject to talk about and Zuma Jr. faces it head on. There's a couple of scenes in here that are brutal, that'll make you uncomfortable, but he does not shy away from the abuse angle of it and I really liked that fact. I like the fact that he is not handling the subject with kids gloves, no pun intended. Now there's also some other creepy supernatural elements in here as you would expect from Zuma Jr. done and shot in the old school ways. I mean the way he sets up this environment with some dolls hanging from strings, playing with the shadows, playing with things out of the corner of your eye. There are a lot of things going on in this film that are old school horror. And then there's the performances as well. He's doing it on a limited budget working with people that he knows and the little girl playing his sister in this film was fantastic, was realistic. Uh, she delivered her line better than some independent actors I've seen in low-budget independent horror films. I mean, she just did a great job and you felt like this was brother and sister. Zuma Jr. is getting really comfortable in front of the camera, as you can tell. And his delivery of dialogue as well felt natural. Everything about this film was really well put together, especially for a kid of this age and on a budget they're working on. Uh, you could check this film out yourself as well, folks. I really enjoyed it. I highly recommend it for you to check this out. Give some support to this young filmmaker because I think he's got a huge future ahead of him. Go to his channel. I'll put a link down below to it. Zuma Jr. is the director, and he's someone you need to watch out for because uh, with each project we see, he gets better and better and The Wish is a really well done film that addresses a very disturbing subject from the eyes of a child and what better uh, opinion could you get than from someone uh, from the eyes of a child. So check out The Wish. If you have checked out The Wish, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts and thank you for watching as always for your support and stick around. We got a lot more great stuff coming at you. I appreciate all of you and until next time, keep that ticket set.